see this building over here? Walk into this building. It's called Book Off. Grab some books. Walk out and off you go. If that is all you wanted to know, then there you go. But if you want to know how to maximize your value, if you aren't just interested in buying books, but interested in buying anything and everything, then stick around. Welcome to Book Off, my favorite place in Japan. But let's go back a bit. I went to Japan for the first time in 2018 with a study abroad program. Specifically, I went to Kyoto. Oh, Kyoto, the heart of Japan, known for tradition and nature. Some of the oldest buildings and temples in Japan, many of which are hundreds, if not over 1,000 years old. So with all these awesome places to visit, what was my most memorable destination? Was it the massive Heian Shrine? Was it the 1,200-year-old Kiyomizu Temple? Come on, you already know the answer. It was Book Off, specifically this one in Hokkaido. Book Off is a second-hand retail store for books, one of the largest in Japan with 663 locations. How is a bookstore my favorite place in Japan? Hold on to that thought for a second. Let's talk about buying books for a little bit. So you've read the title, 200 manga for 50 cents a piece. So is each book really 50 cents? Well, in reality, it's a little more complicated than that. But don't get it twisted. Book off is value, straight value. How much value, you might ask? Well, according to Urban Dictionary, it's so much value that it became an adjective. <clears throat> Book off. An adjective to refer to something of incredible value. A deal so ludicrous that it makes you wonder how a store could possibly be profiting from selling a product at such a low amount. The term originates from the second-hand store chain in Japan known by the same name. $10 for 30 mint condition volumes of manga? How is this even possible? <laughs> yeah, man, that's quite the book off deal. <clears throat> this might have been my post. But in all seriousness, let me give you some perspective. Here's the first volume of Berserk in Japanese. If you wanted to pick up the first volume of Berserk in English, it would cost $13 new and $9 used. Here's the first volume of Girls Last Tour in Japanese. The English volume will cost you $15 new and around $14 used. Now, if you lived in Japan and wanted to pick these up online, they both cost around 600 yen new and 300 yen used. Quick aside about yen. When I initially went to Japan in 2018, the conversion rate was 110 yen to $1 USD. This made it fairly easy to say that you can just think of yen as pennies. 100 yen equals a dollar. Ever since 2018, this relatively simple conversion has been all over the place. Hitting 150 yen to a dollar in 2022, and as of March 14th, 2023, 134 yen is equal to a dollar. This is all to say that the simple conversion of the past does not work at all. So when I say 100 yen, at the time you're watching this, this can mean anywhere from 65 cents all the way to around 80 or above cents. So bear that in mind. Anyways, I picked up these two volumes at Book Off for around 100 yen each. This is to say, over an order of magnitude cheaper than the cheapest US equivalents. Oh, but the value book off doesn't stop there. It gets even better. Let's say we want to buy all 40 volumes of Berserk. To do so in English, that will run you a whopping $575. In Japanese, around $200. At book off, well, it depends. But I personally have seen all 40 volumes of Berserk sell for 2,800 yen with 30% off the top, which means 1,960 yen for all of Berserk. Converting yen to the conversion rate at the time, this means you could buy Berserk for $18 as opposed to $575, 3% of the price. Success. Now, given that I don't have the footage of this specific event, let me show you some other examples. Right here, you can buy all of 20th century boys for 2,000 yen for 50% off. And over here, you have Vagabond, all of it, for 3,000 yen with 20% off, which also is less than 100 yen per volume. And for Vagabond, this is an especially good deal because this series is very rare, especially to find all like this. Oh my god. That's an insane deal. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a complete set of Vagabond. I like 2,000. But I can't carry it. I can't carry it. Oh my god. I'll have you know that it um, physically hurt not being able to buy those volumes of Vagabond. I thought I didn't have enough luggage space and I did. Now why are some books 100 yen when others are far less? And how does Book Off even work? Good question. Here's a Japanese book. And on the back, you'll notice right here the word 
Keka. This is the market suggested retail price, MSRP. In short, this is the price you will expect to pay if a book is brand new on store shelves. Although this is not always the case, for now just think of this as the maximum amount something will cost. Book off segments its store based on the price of its inventory. If a book is near mint and in high demand, it'll usually get placed in its own section towards the front of the store. It is in this section where the books are the most expensive and close to MSRP. Now as the demand decreases for a given book, whether it's because of its condition or because it can't be cleared from inventory, it'll be progressively moved down through different price sections of the store. Although it depends on the given book off, from what I can tell, the most common sections tend to be near MSRP, 300 yen to 350 yen, 200 yen to 250 yen, and 100 yen. Which means, yes, you can have a 5x difference in price for the exact same book. For example, I got this volume of Chojin X, the new manga series from the author of Tokyo Ghoul, for 100 yen as opposed to 500 yen. And finally, when books have been around for long enough, they get discounted even further and bundled into large packages. Wait, did I say finally? Because we aren't done yet. There is more. If these bundles sit around for long enough, then they get 10%, 20%, 30%, and sometimes even 50% discounts on the whole thing. If you go back to the example for 21st Century Boys, this means you can pick up an entire series of manga for 40 yen a piece, which depending on the exchange rate can end up being about one quarter per manga. And no, we are not done yet! You see this? This is the first volume of Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Want to know how much I paid for it? Time's up. If your guess was one yen or more, then you were too high, because I got this for free. Because on top of all the value that Book Off already provides, Book Off also has an app. And whenever you shop at the new Book Off location for the first time, you receive 200 yen to spend on anything you like. <laughs> that was a lot, but we got through all the value. Psych! Book Off also runs promotional campaigns that can result in 20% or more store-wide discounts. <laughs> okay, this time for real, uh, we are done. Um, no more value, seriously. This feels like a good time to mention that I didn't technically get 200 volumes of manga for 50 cents each. I got some volumes for less than 50 cents and some for a little more. I just averaged everything out. And if you are wondering, 200 volumes of manga weigh around 83 pounds. I only know that because I had to ship them back to the United States. Not all of them, but quite a lot. Uh, here's my PSA to remind you to bring an empty suitcase when coming to Japan, and especially to book off. Now let me answer a few questions. First up, a question I will eternally have to respond to. But what if I can't read Japanese? To which I say, not with the attitude you won't. There is always a first for everything. I recommend doing what a fellow Japanese learner that I met in Tokyo did. He picked up one of his favorite manga series in Japanese to help kickstart his reading journey. Well, at least he searched for it. From my personal experience, Girls Last Tour can be surprisingly difficult to find. Godspeed, my friend. And for those of you who thought that you couldn't buy books in English, they actually have an English book section as well, as you can see here. It's not as big as any of your other sections for other books, but you can see there are quite a lot of books, um, and it stretches all the way down over there. Next question. Secondhand books are nice and all, but what about new books? So here's the thing. Have you noticed how clean all the books I've shown you are? If I didn't tell you Book Off was a secondhand store, would you even have noticed the thing? Some of you, maybe, but I assume the majority of you would not have. For those who feel particularly picky about the cleanliness of the books you purchase, I would like to inform you that you aren't the first person to be like that. Doubly so in Japan. Cleanliness is extremely important in Japan, and tackling this issue of cleanliness is what led to Book Off's success. Book Off pioneered what's known as a Shinko Shoten, which literally translates to a new, old bookstore. Before Book Off, bookstores simply carried old books, or they carried new books. Maybe some carried both. If you want something shiny and new, then you buy it new. If you want something with a discount that's potentially grosser, you buy it used. This connotation that old means gross and new means clean is one of the reasons I've never been a huge fan of American pawn shops in the US. Although there is something cool to the idea of stumbling upon a hidden gem in a pile of trash, a lot of the times it feels like you're scrounging through a pile of trash to find, well, trash. But not with Book Off. 
Every book is not only manually inspected, but also cleaned and polished if need be to ensure quality. And for my collectors out there, yes, that does mean that sometimes pages are cut and that can leave noticeable differences. I should be clear that BookOff isn't using a page cutter though. Although I can't find the machine BookOff specifically uses, machines such as these are professionally used to sand pages. This practice, although integral to BookOff's success, is also controversial. But personally, I don't mind it if it means I can get manga for orders of magnitude cheaper than I otherwise would be able to. Also, BookOff does and will reject books that don't meet its quality standards, so there's that. And finally, with prices this wow. low, how is a store even in business? And here we introduce the final pieces of the puzzle to book off success. Before book off, it was common for used bookstores to individually cross-check market prices for incoming inventory to ensure competitive pricing. Imagine you wanted to run a garage sale and get rid of a thousand books lying around in your house. Well, through the old model, you would manually look up every single book before putting a price tag on it, which is a pain, especially when you are dealing with books, which for the most part, all cost around the same price. So how about instead of that method, you just glance at the date of publication and the quality of the book and give it one of four different prices. If this sounds familiar, that is because this is what BookOff does. This method of pricing not only significantly lowers your operation costs, but it also means that there are plenty of great deals to be had at BookOff if you're willing to look around. A win-win. Lastly, I should mention something that I believe many of my fellow Americans take for granted. America is big, doubly so for rural America. As someone who lives in rural America, I rarely find myself wanting more space. And even if I do, you can just get in your old pickup truck and drive your miscellaneous goods to the dump. None of this applies in Japan. Something I learned the hard way after it took me 20 bucks in two weeks for me to finally call and set up an appointment for someone to come over to pick up and dispose of my broken suitcase. Space is limited in Japan, very limited, to the point that toilets have sinks and beds get folded up and stored in closets. I bet you can see where this is going. Not only do you have to not pay to give books to book off, they pay you. And as I mentioned before, BookOff can actually take these books and make them almost as appealing as new books. It's a money hack. BookOff. I guess technically I should mention that being a little more accepting to Tachiyomi, which is standing and reading, was also a factor in book off success. Many bookstores seal their books in plastic, partially to maintain their quality, but also partially to prevent people from reading them. Thank God that I've come across more book offs recently that stopped putting up with this, because for the love of God, you are reading a book that costs like 100 yen. Just buy it and get out of the way. Or torrent the book for all I care. If Book Off had a reading area, this would be a different conversation. But they don't. You are just blocking me and everyone else by just standing there for 30 minutes taking up half of the hallway. Before we move off of books, let me just stop you right there. No need to type. I already know what you're thinking. Can't I just read digital books? I read them for free and they take up no space. To which I say, although I could go on all day about why I love physical manga, let me just give you a few examples. First one right here for One Punch Man. You've probably seen this cover before, I think the anime has the same one. But have you seen the false cover, which is Godzilla, looks awesome? Or for example for Uchu Kyodai, you can't see it right here, but if I put it closer to the camera, you can see it's all sparkly! Look how great that is! And then for Mushishi, instead of for the sparkly cover, it has this really cool, worn, uh, it's hard to show on camera, design, but it also has its own really cool, low-key, inside cover and more bluish tint, which I like. For Berserk, <laughs> I wanted to show a lot of cool artwork in person for Berserk, but uh, if people have read Berserk, they would know why I can't do that. But I will show you is a lot of the full impact, the double page scenes, just pop out way better um, in physical manga than they do on a digital reading. Um, another thing is, if you like having them for display, 
or you like the physical uh, feeling of flipping through pages, or maybe you don't want to be on your phone all day, or you want to separate yourself from the phone and the notifications and everything like that, I feel like physical books give you a completely different experience than they do just by scrolling up on a page. There's a whole passage about this, um, this whole, the greatness of physical books in the anime Psychopaths, if you've seen it. Hongane,ただ文字を読むんじゃない。自分の感覚を調整するための通路でもある。調律する際大事なのは紙に指で触れている感覚や本をペラペラめくったとき瞬間的に脳の神経を刺激するものだ。but yeah, I really like physical manga. I'm not here to convince you that you can't read stuff digitally, but come on, give it a try. Physical manga is great. Now let me answer a question I asked at the beginning of the video. How is a bookstore my favorite place in Japan? As I mentioned before, I live in rural America. And although there is a lot of space and nature, that's about it. As a man who's into Japanese culture, the closest I get to anything Japanese is going to Walmart and glancing at the latest Dragon Ball movie. In fact, I've yet to meet a single Japanese person over the course of my entire life over here. Whereas Book Off... Well... You have... Manga and bookshelves and anime with it GameCube controllers and boxes are given Clear plastic packages filled up with bling These are a few of my favorite things <coughs> Anyways, and as you can see, there are also plenty of card games. Here we have Yu-Gi-Oh, Rush Duels, Battle Spirits, Digimon Card Game, Shadowverse, Weiss Schwartz, um, One Piece, Dragon Ball Z, and other book offs. I've seen Magic the Gathering as well. It's not popular in Japan, so sometimes you don't find it. Uh, but yeah, and as far as I know, most of their rates are very competitive. So if you want to buy card games, you can also do that at book off. Also, DVDs and movies. And you can tell that it's not just small series, it's big series like Studio Ghibli films, Disney films, anime over here like One Piece. You also have Pokemon. And of course, they also have music. American music, Japanese music, and everything in between. They even have anime music, like this Naruto soundtrack right here. As you can see, you have vinyls with very popular singers like Maria Takeuchi's Plastic Love. That's actually really cool. And if you want to get games, toys, whatever you want, they also have that as well. This section over here covers small toys and goods. You have things like cars, pandas, whatever. You have board games here. You have puzzle games here. For the video that I did for board games, actually on this channel, I had a shogi set and a go set, both of which I actually bought here. The shogi set, the entire glass shogi set, I bought for 500 yen. And if you're into old collectibles, they have cars, they have tanks, they have planes, they have trains, and for Gundam fans, they have those as well, with all the paint to paint them. From this section over here, they have a lot of figures. It's not just a small section, it's massive, with two entire rows dedicated to it. And as you can see here, you can even get good figures for a cheap amount. Right here, you have a Senju Gohara figure for 400 yen. And not only can you buy figures, you can also buy books for those figures, as well as books that teach you how to draw, or books that teach you how to draw like an anime style, or whatever style you want to write. They even have an entire section dedicated to strategy books, like strategy books for games. And for the nerdiest of you all, they have an entire Japanese history section, with some of the oldest looking books you've ever seen. Because the value never ends, you can also buy electronics, like headphones and mics, and much, much more. And speaking of much, much more, BookOff also sells video games, video game consoles, video game accessories, and video game electronics in general. As you can see here, you have a bunch of original game controllers, which are very, very hard to find, and even if you can in the US, they normally cost way, 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 way more money. For people like me, something you might appreciate is they don't only sell Switch games, PS4, and all new games, they also sell old games like Wii U, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PS Vita, and my favorite, GameCube games. As you can see here, we have a Kirby Air Ride, which is an extremely rare GameCube game to get a hold of in the first place, but they sell it here in a bookstore. And they even get older than GameCube with N64 games right here, as well as some other consoles. Something I forgot to mention was that this book off in particular also doubles as a local game store where they hold Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. And I didn't even cover all the different things you can buy to book off. 
Book Off comes in many different shapes and sizes. If you want to buy some clothes, in addition to everything else I've mentioned thus far, well then how about checking out Book Off Plus. And if you want to pick up a snowboard and a violin with your copy of Girls Last Tour, which no I won't stop promoting, then you should check out Book Off Super Bazaar. I bet you're wondering, is this video sponsored by Book Off? No! Sadly, I want it to be! Do you know how bad I want Book Off merch? I had the following interaction like five times at this point. Will that be all? Yeah... So I was wondering, um... Do you by any chance sell any Book Off posters? Uh, no. How about shirts? No. How about pins? No stickers? No backpacks? No posters? No toilet paper? No. Wait, what? I just thought that since uh, Japan saved so much toilet paper due to the bidet industry that it might have been a possibility? Yeah, no. Uh, okay then, I'll, I'll be going out. I considered trying to set up an official collaboration, but given that my previous experience trying to get a collaboration with a large Japanese company failed miserably, my heart couldn't take it if I were to be rejected. As the saying goes, don't meet your heroes. And as I sit here now, an ocean away from any book off, no, I don't acknowledge any of the U.S. locations, they're not the same, I'm overwhelmed with great sadness. And well, you know I can't smile without you. I can't smile without you. I can laugh and I can't sing. I'm finding it hard to do anything. You see, I, I feel sad when you're sad. I feel glad when you're glad If you only knew what I'm going through I do <clears throat> And that's enough of that. I'm just a man who loves Book Off, and hopefully you will too when you get a chance to visit. Oh,